for the hills and for the ground and for all that he has supplied us with today. I ask you, Lord, to bless this Bible study. I ask you to pour out your holy anointing on me today. Lord, I ask you to pour out your holy anointing on the ones that are watching today. I ask you, Father, in all these things to bless us with knowledge and encourage the ones that are listening. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anyway, thank you, Lord. Let's go on. Let's um, talk about spikenard today. Spikenard essential oil is one of those oils that I can use in my hair, I use um, on my face, I use um, on my body. It causes your skin to be conditioned, it gives you a healthy glow, and it is um, great for hydration. Um, in the ancient times, they would use uh, this essential oil in the mummification process. Today, when um, Jews pass away and they prepare the body for burial, they still use essential oils after they have first cleansed the body twice. And this helps, this hope, this helps the elasticity in the skin remain for a, for a longer period of time. Jews, they grieve for a year, and then every year they have a ceremonial service rem remembering the ones, <laughs> sorry, remembering the ones that have um, died. And so, in a nutshell, spikenard is very hydrating to the skin. We find in Scripture, in, in the Song of Solomon, in um, the first chapter and the fourth chapter, um, that the Song of Solomon used or mentioned spikenard uh, because of his wives. Um, one, it was a very good deodorant. It masks a lot of smells. So this is a great um, essential oil to mix with fresh water and spray around as a room spritzer. spritzer. It will mask the smells of cows even. Um, I use it around the pig pen a lot. Um, it stimulates the digestive juices. It is great for the female reproductive process. It promotes um, feelings that reduces um, anxiety and overwhelmment. And so in the first chapter of the Song of Solomon, you see that he is communicating over dinner with his wife. And his wife um, has the scent of spikenard. And at the very end of the chapter, it talks about the bed being green, meaning uh, fertility. So for all four reasons here, we see that spikenard is mentioned. Of course, it doesn't go in great detail in scripture because spikenard, um, just the mention of the name of spikenard, the children of God would have known all of these things that was just revealed to us through the Holy Spirit. Furthermore, spikenard is recorded in the Gospels in the account of the woman um, anointing Jesus. Oh, excuse me. You find that in Mark 14 and John 12. You see that the word spikenard is found in the King James Version and it translates to be um, pure nard. Spikenard essential oil balances out the issues of stress. For me, spikenard has helped reduce the swelling in my ankles and in um, cuts and abrasions. It's helped smooth those um, scabs and things that you would get. Um, in John 12, 1 through 8, when Jesus' feet were anointed with spikenard, um, it would have helped his feet in general because when they walked, they, they were wearing sandals and it was a very rugged terrain. And so they would have had um, scrapes, cuts, um, bruises, and other abrasions. And so dipping your feet into a bath of spikenard is very refreshing. It hydrates your dry cracked heels and it eliminates the infection that would be occurring there. 
it's a very great um, perfume and um, very very expensive I hope this helped you in some way today that's enlightened your life and that um, God continues to help you be well and healthy to do his work and until next time may God richly bless your life